Hello and welcome to another film review. Today we'll be reviewing a film called Bicycle Thieves, directed by Vittoria De Sica. Bicycle Thieves is a 1948 Italian neuralist drama film directed by Vittoria De Sica. Vittoria De Sica was an Italian director and actor, a leading figure in the neuralist movement. Four of the films he directed won Academy Awards, Sushishia, and Bicycle Thieves Honorary. While Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow, and to Giardino de Finzi Cotini won the Academy Awards for Best Foreign Language Film. The summary for Bicycle Thieves is about Antonio Ricci, who is an unemployed man in the depressed post during World War II economy of Italy, who gets a good job after being jobless for the past two years. He was told that he needed a bike or he won't be able to keep the job. Ricci and his wife, Maria, pawned their six sheets to get the money for Ricci's bike, which then was stolen on his first day of the job. The search of the bike was unsuccessful, but later on, Richie and his son coincidentally stumbled upon the thief. But without proofs, Richie was unable to get back his bike and tried to steal another person's bike, but was caught. He was then released, and the film ended depressingly with Richie losing his job. The forms and style of this film showed more of the unpleasant realities of how a normal struggling citizen's life would be like during the horrible times of World War II economy. The film follows the daily life of struggles of Antonio Ricci and the problem he faces. The film is not like other typical film where there are big romance or action fighting or happy ending. This film portrayed a normal life which the audience can relate to and not all life has a happy ending like in other films. There are some long takes that are taken in the film following Ricci's moment. The portrayal of the desperation in Antonio Ricci when he searches for the thief who stole his bike brought a sense of justice to the audience hoping he could get back his bike because we as the audience can relate to Richie's struggle. The fact that the film can relate to our life is because Italian neorealism films mostly contend with the difficult economic and moral conditions of post-World War II Italy, representing changes in the Italian sites and the condition of everyday life, including poverty, oppression, injustice and desperation which can all be seen in this film. We can see the life of the working class from their daily routines, the portrayal of desperation is shown during the moment after Richie's bike got stolen. Richie went and reported the case to the police but was given the cold treatment. And when Richie tried to steal a bike in order to keep his job, he was caught and without a bike, he then loses his job. Overall, The Bike Thieves, in my perspective, is quite a depressing film that can get the audience to feel the feeling of someone who was at a loss and the pain of someone's struggle. It is a film that I would recommend to someone who would want to change in the films they watch if they are bored with all the typical romance or action films.